back counting double digit thousands. Facts. Yo, what is going on guys? Your boy Russ back again with some more Madden 18 Ultimate Team. So this episode, guys, we got a bunch of new pickups. You guys can see John Abraham, Daniel Hunter. We did upgrade the D-line. I wanted to upgrade the ends. I wanted to get some speed. And sure enough, that's what we did. John Abraham has 83 speed and uh, Daniel Hunter has 81. We also upgraded our center from power, um, power up to Ali Marpet. We upgraded the uh, power up tier three so that's not bad you know we got ourselves a really good center we moved travis benjamin to the number two receiver spot because he played better than anybody that was there and he's played better than tyree kill and tyree kill was at our number two receiving spot and he just hasn't done anything we also got uh nate soldier out of like an elite player pack and he was better than my than my current left tackle I had like no run block uh nate soldier is a lot better than that guy so i went ahead and just moved him to the starting left tackle spot now you guys can see i'm playing a um qualifier game now, you guys see me go into the game. This is my first game being played. I have eight attempts every single attempt. But you guys will see at the end of the video, I'll let you know what happens. Not sure what happened. It's really weird. But this game is actually pretty good, man. We got a lot of good plays with a lot of good players. You guys can see, of course, still Cam Newton at QB. Probably going to be rocking with him for a while, man. He's the best bang for your buck, I feel like, at QB. Um, not really sure why he just plays so much better than a lot of other quarterbacks, even though in mutt squads, he sucks ass, but in head to head one-on-one, -on -one, he plays great for me, man. I, I love this cam when I'm playing by myself, but when I'm playing mutt squads, he does not play well. I don't know why that is, but you know, that's just the way it is, man. I hope you guys also liked how I put like how much I bought the card for. Um, when, whenever I show a new card, just throw it at me, man, why the fuck not? Hassan Reddick does come up with the interception, and you know what? We're going to take that to the house, but like I said, man, uh, it's been a while since I've done that. Uh, I did put the, or the way I got the card, or the way, like, or where I move the card at the beginning of the video, I put it on the screen, so let me know if you guys like that. I kind of like it, because you guys will see how much I bought a card for, and so, like, whenever my coins just all of a sudden drop, you guys can, you know... You'll see who I bought, and you'll see how much I bought them for. So that's pretty cool, and I'll probably end up, you know, continuing to do that throughout the Mutt series and th throughout just any series in general. You guys can see this guy is Bo Jackson. He didn't really do a lot with them, as I say that he breaks a huge run. Um, but Bo Jackson, man, he never really kills me. I don't know what it is about him. Um, I know he destroys a lot of people. It's right here. I went for the SWAT. Probably should have went for the pit because I had the animation, but they didn't give it to me, and I just went for the SWAT, so I just batted it down. Look, like he just dropped it. But as I was saying, man, Bo Jackson, not really sure, but for me, I take him down usually in one tackle every time. He does not really play that good against me. Not sure why. You know, I don't do anything different from any other way I play any other running back unless, of course, he's running all over me. It's fourth and six right here. He cuts up the field and barely avoids a Nigel Bradham uh, hit stick. And instead, now he's inside the 10. But yeah, Bo Jackson hasn't done much this game, and I don't think he will because for some reason he does not play well against me. He's right there. We hold triangle too long. Usually when that happens, I've said it before, it's when I'm like ready to bait somebody and I hold it too early and they don't throw it. And then I just accidentally hold on to it. But right here, man, I had no way to even like get an animation for that. I was trying to pick that off and there was just no animation. And Martellus Bennett, sure enough, gets into the end zone. But he makes a mistake. Well, maybe. You guys will see. We go off sides on accident. I was trying to switch to normal defense because I didn't want to fake it on us. John Abraham goes off sides. This guy decides to go for two. Now, this could be really good or really bad. And it's actually going to be really, really bad. As Champ Bailey ends up picking it off. And Bo Jackson in front of Champ Bailey is going to get swerved out of his mind a couple times. And he is not going to catch Champ Bailey. Now, that Kellen Winslow somehow, I don't know how the hell he's staying down the field. But Champ, uh, Champ Bailey does take it back for a pick two. Um, or a pick six on the two-point conversion, but we will take that as it does actually put us up by a field goal. So this guy goes from possibly taking the lead or at least tying to being greedy, um, you know, an accidental accidental penalty penalty by me. I can't talk. Um, but you know what? It leads to us being up by three. So you know what? I'll take it. So 220 left here in the first half. We're just trying to get down the field, and sure enough, that's what we do. Um, this guy kept coming out in, like, really heavy run formations, and then all of a sudden he would come out in three-man rushes, and then I would just audible to a quick run. This guy really, like, it felt like <clears throat> it was one of those games where it felt like this guy was trying his hardest to do whatever he could do on offense. And I was, like, maybe trying a, a decent bit on offense. Like, I was able to score so much easier than he could. He was having a lot of trouble um, finding open receivers. But you know what? He did. He did find open receivers. He did get down the field. It was just really slow. And with him down by two scores right now, um, you know, he's going to need a miracle. And sure enough, Julian Edelman breaking tackles. I don't know. 
what to say about that. This guy definitely had the capability to score, but I feel like right there that was a fluke. We were stopping him. He converted a couple four downs, and, um, you know, he goes for two again. Not really sure why. I think just out of anger. And he doesn't get it. I mean, there was no reason to go for it. If he, if he kicked the field goal, he's down by three. If he went for two, he do, he's down by two. It doesn't make a difference. And then all of a sudden, he just starts sending blitz after blitz after blitz. And I start reading it, of course. 30 seconds left. Um, I basically just wait for Demarius Thomas to make his break. And he's wide open. That's another touchdown um, to make us go up 22-12 to 12 or 23-12 to 12 after the extra point. And with 24 seconds left in the second quarter, you would think, um, this guy would just, you know, try to go to half, but he does not get the ball back at half. So maybe he's trying to score, put up some points, um, but there's just really nothing doing. He's not able to get past my defense. We got a lot of speed out there, man. And, um, they're definitely showing it right now. Martellus Bennett, um, he kept trying to go on Martellus Bennett right here. We almost get the user pick, but instead it's batted up into the air and we get the pick anyway, but he kept trying to go to Martellus Bennett. Martellus Bennett is not the guy you want to go to. And, uh, my slowest linebacker was able to keep up with him. But you guys see right here with six seconds left, I have to get three yards to at least get to the outskirts of field, uh, field goal range. I instead tried to throw two out routes, almost get sacked both times. So third and 10 with two seconds left, I said, all right, I fucked it. I, I fucked it up myself. I should have kicked the field goal. I should have ran and tried to get the field goal. Instead, we have to chuck up a Hail Mary, and I don't even know what to say about this, but Demarius Thomas somehow catches it. That's like the second time in the past three videos where I've gotten a Hail Mary finish at the end of the half, and Demarius Thomas gets it again, man. Obviously, it's not as crazy because... We're winning by a good bit anyway. Um, now we're up 30 to 12, and we get the ball back coming out of half. And this guy just, I, I don't know what, what he was doing, man. But we for real ran once, and then we decided to throw an out route because I thought he was going to you know play heavy towards the run. Sure enough, he just brought somebody off of the tight end, and Kyle Rudolph was wide open. And that's actually going to force the rage quit and bring you guys to the last part of this video. And this is a little bit confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and end this part. The gameplay, you guys see the guy just quit. So 36 to 12, pretty good gameplay. We get another win. First win towards qualifier or so I thought. So you guys see on the screen right now, you guys see the qualifier after the game. It shows I have six attempts. You start with eight. I played one game and it was the game you guys just saw. You guys saw me go into the game. I did not have a loss. I had all eight attempts. For some reason, it didn't give me the win. It didn't give me the L. But it took away two attempts. So I don't know why that happened. Really weird. I figured I'd just show you guys at the end of the video. So for all of you that stayed to the end, uh, shout out to you. Appreciate it. But I don't know why. Let me know if you guys know why that happened. But other than that, did hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, the Anders Army, I'm out.